Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can read by the title, I am doing a try on haul. Like, it's a pretty big try on haul. Um, probably the most stuff I've ever gotten before and recorded a try on haul. Like, I have two other try on hauls on my channel. You go check them out. I'll put them in the description and up here. But this was like a huge try on haul, the most expensive haul. Like, I think this was the most expensive shopping trip I ever did as a whole. But as you can see by the title, yes, this is like a $2,500 to $3,000 haul. But don't judge me. Um, well, I guess this is actually worth judgment, but <laughs> like the two pairs of shoes I got alone made up $2,000, about $2,000 of this haul. So the clothes only was about five to $600. So, you know, at least the reason why it's so like high, the, the price, the dollar amount is so high is because of some pricey sneakers. But that's besides the point. Um, I know we're in quarantine, so this kind of sucks. Like, I got all this extra money that just, you know, my bonus, um, I got a raise. I didn't get as much like I thought I did, but I didn't. But I got my tax refund, um, which was pretty big. Um, you know, now that I'm in my most high paying job I've ever had in my life. So my, my tax refund was pretty big. And then I'm also getting a like a thousand dollar referral check next month or in two months because I put in a referral for my sister to get a job at my company so lots of just extra money coming in and I'm saving a lot of money because we're inside like a lot of my student loans got frozen a whole bunch of stuff so and I'm not paying for gas so a lot of extra money in my pockets so I'm like I really want to go shopping but I have all these lit cute outfits and all these new things I brought just for us to be inside but hopefully we're out soon regardless a lot of the stuff is like timeless so i'll be able to wear it in a year from now or in the fall or the winter so yes it's kind of weird that i'm doing a huge trial haul in the middle of a pandemic because where am i gonna go with these clothes but yeah anyway so i'm gonna try to make this video like as quick as possible so all the brands that i ordered from and that will be in this haul um work on wins Nike, Jordans, um, ASOS, eBay, but technically Uniqlo, but I got it from eBay. Blue thing, Shein, Boohoo, H&M, Amazon, Ulta, Coastal Contacts, and Missy Empire. So this was a huge strong haul. I recommend everybody to make a list of stuff that they're waiting for when they order stuff online. That's what I did. And I always do that, but yeah, so... Let's get started with the strong haul. Thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, share just in advance. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go in order of what I ordered. So then the first thing I got were Rick Home and Ramones. I got the Dark Shadow. They're like a little bit cheaper than the main, well, a lot cheaper, I think, than the main lines. The main line is like the main brand. Dark Shadow is like, like you know, Com Com de Garcon and they have Comme des Garçons play. This is the equivalent to the play, <laughs> Dark Shadow. Still pricey though, but I've always wanted some Ramones and I got some. Um, now these I got from a site called N7. They're like located in Israel. It took me forever to find these because I couldn't not find my size and these are still a little too big on me, like slightly. As you see, these are huge, but they are a heavy shoe anyway. But it took me forever to find these shoes. I really went like exploring for them. So I'm happy I got them. I love this back detailing. Um, they're made in Italy. The bottom says Dark Shadow also. Kind of can see it. They're a little dirty. I only wore them outside. I mean, I only wore them. Yeah, I wore them this weekend with my boyfriend for the first time. So that's why they're a little dusty. But yeah, I really love these. These are like... Don't call them Converse's because these are not no Converse's, okay? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I love them. I feel like they're just like a, like, ugh, I shouldn't be touching the bottom, but they're just like a shoe you could wear with anything. And like, this is like what I'm talking about, like switching up, like being more avant-garde. Like, 
you could if you could freak these like you really know how to dress because a lot of people just rely on the sneakers and stuff but i'm like let me do something that's more like different you know that's still streetwear it's still true to me so this is like you could wear it from anything i can't wait to style this um but yeah it's really really fire and i do want another pair of it on the line my boyfriend's getting tired of me because I'm copying everything that he gets, but <laughs> he wants the dunks, so now I'm with dunks. But you know, I, I've, been, I've wanted the dunks for a while, for a few years now, so he just needs to accept the fact that me and him are just that much alike. We're so mates, okay? Like, of course, I learned from him along the way, but I was always into this type of stuff. I just didn't have the money for it, but now I do. So, yeah. Dark Shadow Ramones in in seven, in seven. Um, I literally looked everywhere. I looked on end clothing. I looked on Farfetch. I looked on um, Essence. All like those type of sites that you would look at. Couldn't find them nowhere. I went to GOAT and this was my first time ever ordering from GOAT. I usually get my sneakers retail price, okay? Retail, like I'm just good at getting sneakers the day that they actually drop. So, like for example, my UNC off-white, like my off-white UNC Jordan 1s are like going for 13, 1400 right now. Like people see me wearing them like, oh my God, you spent so much money, you have money. No, this first one, my boyfriend got me them when they first dropped. He got us both a pair during the surprise drop in May of 2018. It was like exactly two years ago today. And they were $190, $190. Like, that's what I spent on them. <laughs> but they, these, this was the first time I actually spent like, this is probably my most, no, this is my most expensive shoe. I, I never spent resale, but I got the money, so might as well. So this is my shoes I got from Gold. I love the box, especially with the Last Dance series being on TV right now. Like this was just so like lit. Like I really like this box. I never, ha I don't have any sneaker boxes like this. I usually just have like, the black, like the one that looks like just like this or like the orange one. But like it's super cool. I really like this box. Um, so yeah, I got the Union Los Angeles Jordan ones. Super super fire. I love like the details. Like look at all the details. Um, so Union LA right there in the yellow. And of course, this Jordan logo in Jordan. Very, very cute. I love the colorway. Um, like I said, I got them from Goat. My first time getting resale sneakers, so I was a little scared, but Goat was very trusted. Um, they have a whole verification process, and they verify everything, like. They have a whole authentication process. Label and tag, sole stitching material, color structure, accessories, box cushion, shoe cushion, right, left, and skew and size. These were brand new. I got them new, not used. And they came with laces. Ooh. I usually always like, anytime these shoes come with laces, like I never really use them. Like for the UNC Jordan, um, the off white ones, they came with the neon laces. I'm just too lazy to lace my sneakers, but yeah. Those are the shoes I got. was from aliexpress um didn't come yet but i got a whole bunch of lashes that i ordered from them before like years ago and I, I knew i love these lashes so i just reordered from the same vendor and i got these like pants like they're the um stacked pants that people have been wearing lately oh, i forgot to mention these came on the sneakers too but i took them off because i don't know i know some people like to leave them on but i don't really care for them um yeah 
And I also, I see I use some of this stuff already. That's why I keep forgetting to show certain stuff. But this tote bag it says Dark Shadow on it. It's a duster bag. I call, I told my boyfriend it's looking like a tote bag, but it's really like a duster bag that you put your shoes in. As you can hear, I got stuff in here because I've been using it as a purse, like a tote bag. I mean, it is a tote bag still, right? It's really just a bag for your sneakers, like the duster bags that come with like high end sneakers. Like, I literally get these duster bags anytime I buy like high end sneakers, like my um, my Y3s that I got a few years ago, like they came with a duster bag. So, yeah, they usually come with like high end shoes. Um, yeah.
It's your boy Alex G.
things get a little complicated because I didn't just get clothes from Amazon I got um, like stuff, other stuff too so Amazon clothing wise Amazon she and I like my go-to places for sunglasses because they're cheap but I just got these I like this look I have glasses that are just like this but smaller but I like how these actually cover my face like cover my eyes the other glasses I have are meant to be like the small ones that you just like you wear like this but these like cover my eyes and I just like that rectangle shape this is like a trend right now anybody who knows me I'm big on sunglasses like ever since like I had a job when I was 15 I've always had sunglasses whether they were the aviators when they were trending whether they were the colored like cardier looking glasses whether they're these black ones or whether they're the big ones the girls wear I'm very big on sunglasses um, I also got a seat hanger that I put in my car. I saw this on TikTok, but my bag's always falling. I'm out of my seat because <laughs> I drive to and from New York every day, 50 miles, 100 miles round trip. A lot of stop and go, especially when you get to New York. So sometimes I be slamming my brakes, bag falls, all my work stuff is all over my floor, and I'm annoyed. So I got these hooks that I hook onto my seat and my bag get hooked up. I also got a car humidifier, like diffuser, so I could put. Um, some like essential oils in there that's gonna smell good and then i got from amazon i needed a new stotch of buttercup powder so yeah this is my favorite go-to powder for my under eye concealer stotch of buttercup in the color whatever the yellow color is um i don't know whatever they're like their yellow color is <laughs> the buttercup color I guess but my favorite powder but like for black girls it's perfect it's like a strainer but I saw on TikTok that it's good for washing makeup brushes so I'm gonna wash my makeup brushes maybe tomorrow also from Amazon I got these contact cases I use one already in purple but I love how these cases has a mirror because like I sometimes my I have to change my contacts like when I'm out where they have a mirror which is so smart the contact case the little applicator and like I guess you could put your um solution in here I don't wear contacts for vision I wear cosmetic ones um that's in my haul too I guess I could just bring those up now, but yeah, part of my haul I order from Coastal Contacts, and I just get the Air Optic Color. I don't just get the random websites; like I get actual official ones. I went to my eye doctor for my eye doctor. The color I wear, like for the most part, is the ones I have on now, which is the color brown. I get that because I just like to make my natural eye color like more enhanced. And then hazel, which is kind of like a greenish brown, which I love like for if I'm just trying to have a different look. But yeah. Whatever like the um, prescription is, that's like no prescription is what I get. It's like, I, don't, I think it's like zero, zero, but I have 20, 20 vision, but I went to my eye doctor to tell him like, you know, I want to wear color contacts and we go to safest route and go to my eye doctor. And he told me to get those. Um, and I got a prescription for them, even though it's not like a prescription that says I need them. It's like a prescription that says this is what you use. But yeah, basically they're, they're just color contacts. They're for cosmetic use only. And I got the case and then I got some contact solution also and then I got jeans
right next is Ulta. Um, Ulta, I just got like my my um, makeup necessities. I just had to refill on them. Shout out to Morphe. I discovered them in 2016 and I love them. One of my favorite brands. They're very inexpensive. Setting spray is bomb. It's like a mist. So it's not like the human have setting sprays and like it's just like ooh. Like when I used to do people's makeup, that was the part they hated the most. Like every time I did people's makeup, they were like. So this is a game changer. My favorite. I had like four of these. This is like. I think, it's, oh, I think I finally threw the bottles out. This is like my fifth bottle. I, get, I go through them like crazy. Um, then, oh, I got this new NARS foundation. Um, I never tried this specific one. I had NARS before, but not their radiant long wear. So yeah, and I actually didn't, didn't even know my color. I just like guessed. <laughs> but this looks about right. Can't wait to try this. I had another nose foundation, but I left it at school my senior year. And I didn't realize I left it at school with a whole bunch of other makeup, and my RA found it. And I didn't have enough time to get back. She threw it out, and she lives in my town. So I was like, because I'm like, sis, you live in my town, you could have brought it home. But she threw it out, so she was doing her job. Can't complain. Um, then I got shape tape concealer. have shape tape concealer the big size but I got a sample size of a different color because this was like a little too light so I use it as an eyeshadow base so I got a different color just to see how I like it for under eye concealer but yeah and then I got my holy grail that I've been using since 2012 I'm a Stasia so me and my friends went to, went to Sephora like right after we got our license license so I was like junior year the guy put us on and ever since I would like, we were ahead, we were ahead of that because we had that in like 2012. So it's been like almost 10 years, it's just crazy. I'm mean, using that. You can see here's a side by side of the pants. You can see this is like a little more of a dark wash, and this is a light wash. But it just seems like pants. It's just different washes, and the, the difference is very, very like faint. <laughs> but I can tell the difference. So. Oh, there you go. You can see the differences. This is the difference between them, the color wise. Same pants, different color. Same other like pants though.
stuff it was a lot thank you guys so much for watching this video like i said before and like i always say please leave a like please comment if you want to please share if you want to and most importantly subscribe and yeah so hope by staying safe you know i guess online shopping is a good way to pass the time <laughs> for some people it's a hobby but i hope you guys might have got inspired by some of the stuff i brought and yeah um yeah, I hope everybody stays safe and stays healthy and hopefully we're out of this soon so I can actually go places with these outfits and these new pieces, but yeah. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Think, um, follow me on all my socials, Malwaves on Twitter and Instagram and TikTok. Um, I don't use Snapchat anymore so you can ignore the Snapchat part. Thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>